I don't know if I'm allergic to bees. <laughs> I have never been stung by a bee, so I don't know what happens, but uh, that kind of makes it a little exciting too. <laughs> I've always been fairly interested in beekeeping, just never had the... It's great to see new students when they come into the Honey Bee Association because when they get into a colony of 40,000 bees in the summer, they are really apprehensive for the most part. Who's first? Grab the smoker and go ahead and smoke the entrance of that guy. But they transition so quickly to where they're a little bit scared, but then they're just in there pulling out frames, collecting honey without even a second thought. Today we are doing a colony check um, to make sure that the queen is intact as well as observe um, the health of the bees. We're also checking to ensure that they're storing enough honey for the winter. A strong colony will produce more honey than it can use. Uh, so what we do is we check to see if there's excess honey, remove it, and leave enough so they can survive through the winter. I don't think there's a lot of classes that really go over it, so I think this is quite an opportunity to be able to do it here myself with this group of people. The students in the Honey Bee Association care for these colonies. They take out products from those colonies, so they really see a connection with what they're doing, and they, they definitely do take ownership of the colony. Honeybees are facing some significant challenges. Overuse of pesticides, certain disease type states, and accumulate into what we see as colony collapse disorder. So many of the foods we eat, apples, almonds, blueberries, can be traced back to the honeybee. Grapes, peaches, coffee. If bees didn't exist, those crops would be devastated. Here at SIUE, students learn how to raise a healthy colony and better understand some of the problems bees face.